Hello, Marta. Hi. Hi, sorry. Um, I just got in. I just got my mic to work. <laughs> I've been trying no to. Uh, 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 sorry, I got you at the last moment. Uh, love your programs. Love it. Just love it. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> uh, could you do uh, DAG, D A G? D A G, yeah. Just give me two seconds uh, and I'll find Thank it. Thank you. Perfect. Are you holding it or are you trying to yes, get it? Yes, I'm holding it. You're holding no, it. No, I've been holding it, yes. I've I've been holding all my cryptos at the highest price uh, <laughs> that look, got in. We've all yeah. been there. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, I know. I'm not worried about it at all. I've, uh, I'm pretty confident that in the long run, it will uh, it will all work out. So let's see oh. what this has in store. I thought it was a great um, project, and I still do think that it's a great project. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm just hoping uh, that will be up there pretty soon. And can you tell us more about it? Because I've heard and I know a lot of people being very uh, invested in it. But if you can tell me uh, what uh, it is uh, about, like no, no details if you don't I know them just in general. In general, I know that the um, uh, what you might call it, the U.S. government is uh, is involved in it. Uh, I think it's the Air Force involved in this, some type of communication, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I can't really explain it. Um, no, that's okay. But, uh, yeah. Well, uh, let me, uh, I will, I got rid of all of my uh, drawings for you uh, at the minute. Um, and I suggest, uh, I've suggested this, uh, indicator for uh, you guys many times it's free and like all mm -hmm. the other uh indicators by spaceman it's called um key levels and it mm -hmm. is amazing uh you can really trade off this without knowing any more about um usually the lower levels get retested but obviously learn your support and resistance levels and then you use the um this indicator as your confluence and you can fly honestly mm -hmm. so let me just uh right now we're at this support uh which is something previous i, I hate when there are so many of them here but you can read in uh when you zoom in i just want to uh mm -hmm. I want to mark it for you because uh, I'm running out of time before we obviously that is another key level that we're going to mark here on the chart as well. Uh, our monthly open is a very important level. Previous weekly high, we're going to keep that as well. And quarterly and yearly opens for now because uh, obviously these are super high levels. But by the time uh, we get there, we will probably analyze this chart again so no mm -hmm. need to really go too uh, uh much into you know i i don't like to like i always say i don't like to go too uh ahead of in time so mm -hmm. then i get rid of this right and i usually now i since i have this indicator and i have a new chart i do this and then um, add my own additional levels. Now on the daily, I think I'm happy with this because it is going to be, now I might just mark this mid range for myself because it is, seems like a resistance that we are also hitting right now. And I'm going just to mark it differently. So we know it is the mid range, right? So my EMAs is the next thing that I'll be definitely looking at. Right. Mm -hmm. This doesn't look too bad going by everything that is happening across the board. Because mm -hmm. uh, you said you missed previous um, analysis, analysis uh, I was doing. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. But many have touched the 50 on the daily and pumped from it. So mm -hmm. it'd be interesting to see what that does right now. However, one thing that I'll say is the 200 on the daily is quite close and it is at that resistance uh, that we marked as well. Mm. Mm -hmm. That was, I think, our monthly open, wasn't it? Yeah. 
and it is at the level of the 200 EMA here at 18.4. So mm -hmm. keep that in mind that it will be our next resistance to get above and it is key resistance to get above. If we clear that, happy days, let's see. Uh, I want to see um, Caps Ichimoku as well, how that is doing. Mm -hmm. So apparently the buy signal on the daily was uh, a few days ago. But I think it, because it was higher than the prices right now, and mm -hmm. we are getting closer to the bottom of the cloud, you know, this isn't um, this isn't a bad spot, I think, for yes. if you want to top up. But it kind of looks, you know, it looks like it um, it w wants to go higher. I just want to bring that um, cloud back again. Because mm -hmm. you could trade off it as well and kind of look at the um, next. Your top of the cloud is around the two cent, a uh, twenty cent mark. Which remember when we were doing the EMAs on the daily, mm -hmm. that uh, will be just a little bit above the. Which look, we probably will break above it, and then it will be a case of whether we're gonna start okay. trading above the two hundred uh, mm -hmm. on the daily or not. So it would be very good. Um, it's a good confluence with this getting above it to the two uh, twenty cent to that cloud. Mm -hmm. Sure. So you think it's a good buy now? Right I think that so. Top yeah, it looks good. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's on the constellation plat, uh, platform, and I think yeah. uh, all constellations are are good projects. So, yeah, I'm I'm hoping that uh, this will. Uh, soon be what was the all-time uh, high on this I think it was, uh, um, well uh, according to this chart uh, um, that's a coconut chart it's 46 it's, cents yeah 46 yeah that's that's good well, Look, that's it good. looks good guys to get in right now i think um mm -hmm. that was a nice support we bounced off it uh it could you know over here in that mid range uh let's see on the smaller times but just check this out as well with the fact that the belt um, and the com the comet is turning green and it's curving below the price. Mm -hmm. uh, we're within the, the belt. Um, all the other confluences as well coming into play. Your RSI bullish uh, as well. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Um, sorry, I want to just check now how it's doing on, get rid of those. How it's doing on the smaller time frames. Okay. Yeah, so it's clear that mid range, you know, it's just some uh, sort of a resistance here right now. And as you could see, I was hitting the head several times before. And the reason is because we are on the smaller time frame. Uh, you have. You have your EMAs now crossing. Now we're nicely above the 50 on the hourly. So maybe if you want to get in, look, it's a nice pullback here. I would say mid-range around 17 cents maybe. Right. And bounce. Oh. But anyway, um, this this range here at this point uh, would be a good entry for a long time. It's a good entry. Yeah. Great. And once you believe in a project, I mean, a, a penny or two, it's it's really not that um, big of a deal. Once you, I usually look at it this way. I mean, yeah. if I want to get into a project, I'm not going to hold till it really gets to the bottom. Yeah. A couple of cents here and there, I think. Yeah. Uh, I it understand. will all work out better. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you very much. You're